Hi guys, that's what I just wanted to show you something. Um, now here's Barack Obama talking about the Ukraine situation, which was just recent, um, talking about Russia. But he made a comment which got my attention, and I'm in my mind, or in my spirit, I immediately matched up to a situation which I'd uh, read about in the news. I just played a clip for you. And so my response then. Uh, continues to be uh, what I believe today, which is Russia's actions are a problem. They don't pose the number one national security threat to the United States. Uh, I continue to be much more concerned when it comes to our security with the prospect of uh, a nuclear weapon going off in Manhattan, which is part of... Now, if you look at it, you can actually see the smirk you know, people say the smile is not about the mouth, it's more about the eyes. And But if you look at him, you can see that he's almost smirking, or almost about to laugh, when he says a nuclear bomb going off in Manhattan. Now, here's a news um, article. Uh, basically, in brief, um, the United States have said this Iranian-owned skyscraper... They're gonna have to. The Iranians are gonna have to give it up, and then like the building will like be sold, and the profits will be split out to the 9/11 um, victims' families. Now, obviously, we know 9/11 was a state event, so that they could go into Afghanistan, start war, and um, take the oil. Basically, um, we'll get back. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but this is looking fishy because. One, they're extremely linking this building to Iran. Two, what Obama's just said that he's worried about a nuclear bomb going off in Manhattan and laughing about it. Yeah, same sort of article here. Now, someone um, commented on the on the Facebook page, uh, "End of the Age Bible Prophecy." And said this the way the angle of the um, it's been taken, it looks almost like an Egyptian pyramid there, um, which it does. All all you're missing off the top is the all C and I. <laughs> you know, so it it kind of does from below. Whoops, looks like a pyramid. You know, missing the all C and I. You know, off the top of it. So. I also counted and it actually has 32 windows now if you add the old CNI as you know a, a level let's say or a, you know that would be 33 which is 33 degrees of Freemasonry now another thing is now if you look at the building itself with the blue tinted windows it's gold and blue which again, the Illuminati obviously are like Egyptian descendants, they believe in Egyptian gods. Uh, at the end of the age, you know, Barack Obama is an Egyptian clone. I can, uh, Prince William will be Horus, the Egypt, you know, uh, the representation of Horus. And now we have the false prophet, you know, with um, IHS, you know, with the uh, Egyptian um, false gods on his coat of arms. It's all Egyptian, really. It's, it stinks a bit. And here's something else to look at. Is that this building is in Manhattan. There it is here. And um, it's actually in the area of uh, the Rockefeller um See the um, 650 5th Avenue, um, a building on the edge of the Rockefeller Center. And you know, the, the Rockefellers are in it up to their eyeballs, basically. But also, something to note well, you, you can see here from, you know, it's in the middle of Manhattan, it, you know, it would be the ideal place to set off a nuclear bomb, really, wouldn't it? But if you look at the number, the numerology, 650, 6 plus 5 plus 0 is 11. 
which is one of the Illuminati's favourite numbers also. And so all I can basically say is the scenario which I think I think there's either two scenarios. Um, they tell these Iranian people to get out of the building and then the Illuminati probably then through the black water or some other special ops will 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 install a nuclear bomb and set it off either in the basement or on the uh, roof not too sure and these sick sickos will probably pick the most ta with the time where it would be most densely populated like I was reading I think in Manhattan it, the population doubles in a working day so it might possibly be in a working day that this goes off um, you know so I believe that as soon as the Iranians are out of the building this will happen and then that's when the Illuminati will blame it on the Iranians and say see these Iranians that are occupying this building were, were connected to terrorists and they managed to sneak a nuclear bomb over here and plant it in the building and boom set it off and all these millions of people have died and then let's say well okay let's go to war with Iran now because Iran is next on our list a more worse scenario is this is emotional and remember you know 9-11 was not just a terror a false terrorist attack to blame it on another country being Afghanistan and Iraq um, to go in and take their oil and take over their countries uh, as a further step to world domination uh, particularly in the Middle East surrounding Israel and the end of the age uh, Bible prophecy fulfillment but you know it was also a mind control operation and it worked because people around the world especially in the Western world people that don't know the truth that are the people actually being lied to are the people that are dying and getting these ter false terrorist attacks being put on them you know everyone hated Muslims and you know they actually believed in Osama bin Laden you know uh, uh, being a real person and um, after 9-11 people were just you know stupid I'm just gonna play this here for you um, check, check this out now on uh, the stu you know just take a step back if you do not like Muslims and just listen to these people how much mind control has been implanted in them after 9-11 <laughs> This is not the proposal for all US Muslims to carry a special ID card Yes Yes Yeah, I think they should I think they should Why? To, so if they come over here with a weapon or something that way we know who they are After 9-11, unfortunately things like that have to be, you know do you think US Muslims should also wear a badge with the word Muslim on it? I would say so. So you recognize them. Which Muslims should have a special security number tattooed on their arm? Only the evil Muslims? Only Arab Muslims? Or all Muslims? I would say all of them. All of them have a security number tattooed on their arm. Mm -hmm. Like there should be something special, some special mark or something. Maybe a computer chip? Right, computer chip or something, that way they can't hide it. Yeah. Well, it's got close to the clothes or something. Would you support proposals for Muslims to be converted to Christianity, converted to Judaism, or incarcerated until the war is over? Incarcerate them until the war is over. Convert some of them and uh, incarcerate, them incarcerate some of them. So incarcerate until the war is over? No, incarcerate for forever. Yeah. Would you ever consider buying a Muslim deterrent spray, such as pork spray? No. You know, you can just see the program of the people, and if you actually look back and you think these people are so brainwashed, it's 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 just a joke. Now, do you want to hear the real story? They're behind 9 11 a distracted, naive bubble, and they are doing a damn good job of it. This is Aaron Russo, a filmmaker and former politician. To his left is Nicholas Rockefeller of the infamous Rockefeller banking and business dynasty. After maintaining a close friendship with Nicholas Rockefeller, Aaron eventually ended the relationship, appalled by what he had learned about the Rockefellers. Rockefeller again. You know, the same people that own this building, probably. And their ambitions. Uh, I got a call one day from um, an attorney woman I knew, and she said, would you like to meet one of the Rockefellers? I said, sure, I'd love to. And uh, we became friends, and um, 
he began to divulge a lot of things to me. So he said to me one night, he said that uh, there's going to be an event there. And out of that event, you're going to see we're going to go into Afghanistan. So we run pipelines from the Caspian Sea. We're going to go into Iraq to take the oil and establish a base in the Middle East. And we're going to go into Venezuela and, and try to get, and get rid of Chavez. And uh, the first two they've accomplished, Chavez they didn't accomplish. And uh, they said you're going to see guys going into caves looking for <laughs> looking for people uh, that they're never going to find. You know, he's laughing about the fact that you have this war on terror. There's no real enemy. He's talking about how by having this war on terror, he can never win it. Because this is the eternal war. And so he can always keep taking people's liberties away. And I said, how are you going to convince people that this war is real? He said, but the media. The media can convince everybody it's real. I mean... You know, it just that you keep talking about things, you keep saying it over and over and over again, and eventually people believe it. You know, you created the Federal Reserve in 1913 through lies. You create 9-11, which is another lie. Through 9-11, you, then you're fighting a war on terror, and now all of a sudden you go into Iraq, which is another lie, and now they're going to do Iran. You know, and so one thing leading to another, leading to another, leading to another. Now, I would say, no, why, what are you doing this for? What, what, what's the point of this thing? You have all the money in the world. You have a want. You have all the power. I said, you know, you're hurting people. He said, it's not a good thing. And he would say, what do you care about the people for? Take care of yourself. You know, take care of your family. And then I said, so what's the ultimate, what, what are the ultimate goals here? So the ultimate, the, goal, the ultimate goal is to get everybody in this world chipped with the chip, with the dark ID chip, and uh, have all money be on those chips and everything on those chips. And if anybody wants to protest what we do or violate what we want, we just turn off the chip. So there you have it. You know, the ultimate goal is to have everyone on the mark of the beast, the, the RFID chip. No man can buy or sell. Uh, Revelation 13, towards the end. Um, so, you know, I hope this doesn't happen. But, you know, if it does happen and people are, again, brainwashed, you can always rewind them. Obviously, I'm not going to know about any of these um, high-level, you know, security, social, uh, secret society operations which are involved in. I'm just the person that's trying to put together some dots. And, you know, I, I put together some possible scenarios that might go down. You know, and it, it, I'm not trying to encourage, I'm not trying to uh, persuade the people that actually believe in this new world order and the sickness of the Illuminati that they put out these false flags um, to um, achieve a goal like overtaking another country I'm after the people who don't believe this because I've been there I always thought I thought the the sun shined out of Obama's ass when I but luckily the Holy Spirit come into me and just at the time I got saved I got real and I realized what was going on in in the world and I realized that it's one big deception and the goal is for worldwide domination to rule the world from Jerusalem and to rule the world from their one world God which will they, they will present uh, is commonly called the Antichrist or the False Messiah but you can check my other videos out on that um, so you know we, we should really pray for the people of Manhattan you know if you know anyone in the area and you know this is just like the tip of the iceberg for you you know it's all you know it's always best to make a move and try and do something about it um yeah it's an evil world we live in but it won't be long at the end of the seven years jesus christ will return and all this pain the you know pain of death and illness will all be gone all these evilness and these deceivers they'll all be destroyed um and but at the moment we've just got to put up with it and try and snatch people from the fire and make them realize that this is all a lie you know if if people are going to get deceived by this now then you know god they're going to fall for the false messiah when he gets when when the illuminati present him to the world to rule it so um let's let's get the word out now and try and wake people up i mean it's not it's not their fault but let's just try and do it um, thank you for watching. Um, God bless you all. Amen.